In this tutorial, we'll look at how to select by class and how to select by ID. Um, we have two divs right here. They both have a class of box. One has an ID of box one, and the other has an ID of box two. And you'll see that they have some base styles set up here. And then what we're doing is we are setting the size of them with jQuery. So you can see here, um, we're selecting all of the elements with a class of box. And then we're setting the height to 200 pixels, and we're setting the width to 300 pixels. So you'll see that we have two methods chained on to this um, selector right here. And this is one of the reasons that jQuery became so popular is because of the method chaining. So we first um, select something like this, and then we can chain on height here to set the height, and we can chain on width. And each one of these methods here, they are going to do their thing, and then they're going to return the jQuery object. And because they return that, uh, we can just continue chaining on methods to um, you know, manipulate the, um, the selected elements in different ways. So I'm just going to uncomment this next line right here. And you'll see that in this one, we are selecting um, anything with the ID of box2. So that's the second div right here. And we're setting the CSS background color property. We're setting that to this JavaScript variable color. And color is set to RGB. Um, 100, 155, 155. So let's just refresh the page here. So you'll see the color of the second box changed here, but the first one didn't. And that's because we are selecting by ID right here. So the one with the ID of box two, we set the um, CSS property right here. Another thing about the dot CSS here is you'll see that I placed a variable in the second argument right here. But we could also place a function here. So as long as, long as the function evaluates um, to something that could be here, like such as this RGB or the color red or um, a hash value of a color, as long as it evaluates to something um, that's acceptable in this spot, that's acceptable as a, as a background color, um, it's fine to put a function in there. So I'm just going to uncomment this next bit right here. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating this function right here. And the function is called getColor. And what getColor does is it sets the color, which is right up here. It sets the color to RGB and then concatenates on this red variable right here. And then 155, 155. Um, this hasn't changed. And then it returns the color here. So you'll notice that I have a button here called Fun Stuff on my page. And what we're doing is we're selecting all the buttons. Um, in this case, it's only one button. And we have the clicked handler right here. And then in the click handler callback function, we have this set interval. And set interval is not part of jQuery. It's part just part of regular JavaScript. And the way that set interval works is the first thing is we set the function that we want to run. And then the second argument is how often we want to run it. So in this case, we're running this function um, every 10 milliseconds. So let's see what's happening in this function here. The first thing we're doing is we're incrementing red's value by one each time. So red here is referring to the variable red I, up here. Um, this variable red was defined up here. And because this function here is nested um, inside this function scope, um, we have access to red here. And then also our set interval, we also have um, access to red right here just because um, these are nested functions. So um, this red is going to be available inside them. And then if we increment red like here, um, it is going to go up the scope chain, and it's going to increment um, the red variable that we declared here just under the document ready. So after we increment red by 1, we check if red is equal to 255. And if it is equal to 255, we don't want to go any higher than that because um, using RGB, we can only go from 0 to 255. So if it's equal to 255, then we're just going to reset red to 0. So it's going to go all the way up to 255, and then back down to 0, and then back up to 255. And it's just going to do that over and over again because it's set interval. And after we've done this, we are selecting box 2, which is our second box. And we're setting the CSS background color, and we're setting it to this function. We're setting it to whatever is returned by this function. So in the get color function, um, you saw that get color it it creates the color right here, but it uses this red value. And but remember that we change this red value um, inside our set interval function right here. 
So this red value is going to be changing every single time. So every 10 milliseconds, um, basically, the color is going to get changed. And then we're just going to return color here. So this get color uh, function invocation right here is going to evaluate to, a, to a, you know, a valid color each time. So it's fine that we put um, a function invocation here as the second argument um, in this selector right here. So um, I'm just going to refresh the page here and then I'm going to click fun stuff and you'll see that uh, this color is just changing every 10 milliseconds and if we go down here into the um, Chrome inspector you'll see that value changing so um, this is basically JavaScript in action here it's modifying the DOM on the fly and you can see that RGB just going from 0 to 255 over and over again so um, that's basically how you select with uh, class and ID in jQuery and thanks for listening.